So this is Launcher Pro. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that the dock is a little bit different. Um, you've got four icons instead of the usual two. Uh, they look a little bit different. You can. What's really cool is you can swipe through them. Um, you kind of have as many docks as you want, add shortcuts to any app or a bunch of different features. Um, you can theme the dock too. You can give it kind of glass iPhone dock or you can give it the default Froyo dock. Um, and you can change the icons to whatever you want too. You can make them the regular Android icons, the Launcher Pro icons, or choose an image from your SD card. So if we go to the app drawer, you'll see that we have kind of the 3D effects and all that, but it is super responsive and fast. It's one of the most responsive launchers I've seen. Um, it's kind of almost like the iPhone, uh, which I know may start some flame wars by saying that, but it's extremely responsive. Um, it does have a few of the same things that ADW has. You can change how many icons are in each row on the home screen, although you can only go up to five on the home screen. Uh, you can further customize it in the uh, app drawer if you prefer. It does have its own set of preferences. So you can change your number of home screens just like most launchers. If you go into the dock, you can add some nice dock badges to uh, apps in the dock like SMS or Gmail. Um, so you always know how many unread messages you have, which is pretty convenient. This is pretty cool. You can hide the icon labels. Um, so just icons show up on your home screen without the text below them. Uh, some people may like that. I'm not really a fan, but it is pretty cool. The other nice thing is that you can actually uh, hide apps from the app drawer. So you can hide crapware that comes on your phone or um, apps that you just want to run in the background. You just check the boxes, hit save, and uh, they won't show up in your app drawer, which is nice. And then you can always bring them back if you need to edit settings. Um, but it kind of does a nice uh, job of organizing your app drawer. Uh, the last thing is if you buy the premium version, it comes with some nice kind of full screen sense UI widgets for contacts and calendars and other stuff, uh, which is pretty nice.